Chapter 1, History of the Fitzroy Inn, Mittagong and the Southern Highlands. Hi, I'm John Griffin. I'm the owner of the Fitzroy Inn and I'd like to share with you some of the unique history of the inn. I fell in love with the property when I bought it a few years ago and wish to share with you the uniqueness of this property and some of its colourful history. The inn was established by a couple by the name of George and Anne Cutter and historians in the area say that George and Anne Cutter in actual fact were not credited as being the original settlers of Mittagong, which history will show that in actual fact they were. George Cutter was discharged from the army in 1818 and his records show that he was a labourer, yet on his credentials in Sydney when they opened up a shop, him, him and Anne, he shows himself as being a veterinarian and a blacksmith. In their shop in Sydney, Anne and George sold variety goods and uh, tools and iron products. Unfortunately, that business didn't go so well for George and Anne and they were uh, sold up and uh, had to discharge their debts. In 1826, George secured a grant of land on Old South Road. And there he built an inn which was originally called the Kangaroo Inn. That's the first inn in the area. Very enterprising, George, across the road from the inn, built a, a mill to grind flour. That location of where that mill was been is now on land that's owned by the Maris brothers. Once again, George's business fell about and he fi financially suffered in that business and, uh, and eventually folded it up. In 1827, the colourful history of George also comes out in records where he was ordered to stand trial for the rape of a 13 year old girl. Interestingly enough though, he was acquitted of that charge, but charged with the lesser crime of the intent to rape the girl and charged 30 pounds. This is a history of George that pops up with problems with the law all the way through and I'll share some of them. They're very interesting factors. In 1836, George and, and Anne became the first licensee of the current Fitzroy Inn, in its current and present form. In 1837, George started to face some problems in the area where he was accused of stealing cows, which he was later acquitted, accused of assaulting a man, which he was committed for a six month jail period for assaulting uh, a man by the name of John Banoff. But eventually he uh, he got out of the uh, the jail and he, he was released and. He came back to the inn, but he discovered that Anne now had a, um, had a uh, lover who was uh, one of the uh, tenants of the inn and the handyman at the inn, and they had become an item, a man by the name of Brand. George was not happy about this situation with Brand, and from there, problems uh, set forth for George, and he, uh, he and Brand got involved in uh, quite a, a heavy conflict, and both of them were accused of, um, of attempted murder again. Uh, George was acquitted and Brand was found that uh, he had to uh, pay a hundred dollars bond. He was jailed and had to pay a hundred dollars bond. In 1853, the Cutters were no longer involved with the inn, nor was um, Mr. Brand. And Bartholomew Rush took over the inn as the um, licensee. And uh, George and Anne had separate premises further down the road where they operated some shops. In 1858, Anne died on her way back from Campbelltown to Mittagong, and uh, Anne was at the age of 62 years. And a year later, in 1859, George died, and uh, he was 68 years of age. There is no recognition of George or Anne. They, their graves are unmarked graves, and they're not seen as the original settlers of Mittagong, which is quite sad. Their spirit lives on here, into this lovely, lovely inn. There's lots more to tell you, which I'll do down the track. In the meantime, please come and visit the inn and enjoy discovering the history of this beautiful place.